Hey, Inner Circle, it's Terry Williamson. I wanted to do a special tip today just for brick and mortar businesses. A lot of times the stuff that we do is for, uh, for people who are in the, the digital world, but here's a great tip for you. It is a Facebook ads hack. I'm gonna show you how to advertise just to people who live near your store, your location, who you know are already interested in what you have to sell, okay? So if you go in and you hit create ad normally, if you've ever done any Facebook advertising, this is when you hit create ad in ads manager. This is the screen that pops up. Most people go down and click the reach people near your business. That's not as good as sending people to a website because when you reach people near your business, all it gives you is everybody near your business. But if you send people to your website, then you can do detailed targeting. I'm gonna make this super easy, all right? This is about a three minute lesson here. So we're gonna send people to our website. It doesn't really matter for, for testing. I'll just pick one. Um, and obviously you, you have a, a, a website or you probably wouldn't be here in the group. And I'm not too worried about tracking conversions. And that's not really what I wanna show you anyway. But watch this. When I, when I tell people where I want to, or Facebook where I want to advertise, I can simply pick the exact address where I'm located, or I can pick a zip code, and ours in Tampa is 33618, and look what happens. Facebook will actually outline the entire county, okay? But some, sometimes the way they make up counties is, I don't know how they decided to make it up along street lines or whatever. So that's not near as good as coming over here, clicking this button, dropping a pin right on top of where you are. All right, now that's not even the cool part. The cool part is I can tell um, Facebook one more time, let me get rid of this here. I can tell Facebook one more time, where I want to drop this pin. And once I drop it, it's gonna get the exact longitude and latitude, and we'll only send this Facebook ad to people inside of this circle, right? <coughs> That's kinda cool. But people aren't gonna go 10 miles for pizza unless you have really, really good pizza, um, and you probably do, but people more than likely won't go more than about, oh, I don't know, maybe three miles. So I can toggle this switch to make it whatever I want. So let's say I wanna make it, oh, two miles. So now Facebook will just send, put your ad in front of people within two miles of where you're physically located. But it gets even crazier, because better, because now you can segment based on age and gender and all that. But down here in detailed targeting, why don't we just put it in front of people who like pizza? So here we go. So you see there's 203 million people on Facebook who like pizza. They maybe have liked the, uh, you know, the Pizza Hut fan page or Domino's, or they're having conversations about pizza, or pizza's in their bio. But for one way or another, um, either Facebook or the third-party partners they work with know these people like pizza. So when I click on pizza, you can see now I have 1,100 people who are within two miles of my pizza shop who are on Facebook. I'm only gonna put my ad in front of those people, all right? Now let's say you have an independent shop. You can also exclude people who you know like Domino's pizza. The kind of people who want what you have, your independent pizza. Um, shop, they probably don't like Domino's, or you don't want to send, put this in front of people who like Domino's, and you don't want to put it in front of people who like Pizza Hut, okay? So this quick little, little hack, I call it, is a great, great way to do very detailed targeting, very specific interest targeting about exactly what you sell and to only people who live very, very close to you. So hopefully you enjoyed this tip. Give it a try. Um, it's very, very powerful. All right.